Now, how about we design some collision detection? Collision detection is actually a very large topic in the gaming industry. If you take a look at any gaming engine, one of the most important thing you would say is actually collision detection. What is collision detection exactly? Now, if you take a look, if I have a square like that and I have a ball and they are moving, what I would like to have is once this edge of the square let's say hit the edge of my ball see this is what we call collision all right if you don't design this this ball will go over the square and this is not realistic it's the same as when you have a character that is walking on the ground in a video game the ground is actually nothing but a square and the character should always be on top of the line of the ground if you don't have collision detection this character will fall and be embedded in the ground and this is wrong this is why we design collision detection and collision detection works by taking a look at the edges of the two objects you have and it tries to always prevent those objects from being merged into each other so let's see how we can design a very simple one I'm going to create a new function here and I'm going to call it collision detection. Let's design it just all the way down here. We are going to say here definition check collision and two parentheses. Okay. This will be my function. Now, what do I want to check exactly? Take a look here. Now, here is what we are going to check. I'm going to be checking if the ball x coordinate is between the pedal x coordinate plus a threshold and between the pedal x coordinate minus a, th a certain threshold okay and by that we are checking if there is a small margin between the ball and the pedal so that when this is satisfied i would like to change the direction of the ball right so what i'm saying is in simple terms if the ball comes near the edge of the pedal i would like the ball to change its direction right this is what we call bouncing but not from the boundaries this is a bouncing just from the pedal. So I'm going to say here, open a parenthesis and say pedal underscore one dot x coordinate. And this threshold will be, let's say, 20. This will be larger or equal to ball dot x coordinate. And this should be also larger or equal to the minus threshold which will be pedal underscore one dot x coordinate minus 20. Okay, let's try very simple collision. I'm not going to be concerned about the y coordinate now. So if this happens, meaning that if the ball is near the x coordinates of the pedal, what I would like to do is ball dot dx is equal to ball dot dx multiplied by minus one. And here ball dot dy is equal to ball dot dy multiplied by minus one so i would like to change the direction of the ball whenever i come near the paddle now i would like to give a push to the ball as well okay i change direction right but i also want to give it a push so let's take the x coordinate i'm going to say x is equal to ball dot x coordinate and here i'm going to say x is equal to x plus 10 and I'm going to set a new x. Ball is equal to set x. There is a mistake here. Let's make it like that. And we forgot to say if. Okay. So let me recap. If the ball is near the paddle from the x coordinate, change the direction of the ball. And after changing direction, give it a push on the x axis so that we can have this bounce feeling. And set the new ball axis. Okay, so right here, I'm going to be calling the function now check collision in every frame. Okay, now let me test this. I'm going to close the old program and recompile everything. Now let's take a look. If the paddle comes here, as you can see, the paddle can actually push the ball. And that's really cool. Right now, we are just pushing the ball. Now, let's add one more thing here. I'm going to say if it also comes near the y coordinate. So, this is the x coordinate. And I'm going to say here, and 
and I'm going to copy all of this and just do the same thing for the y coordinate. So here it will be y, and the threshold here will be 60, y, and y, and here it will be minus 60. This will give a better feeling for the collision. Now we cannot put this like that, so I'm going to just put it over there, and here we go. Now let's take a look. I'm going to restart the whole thing, run it. Now let's try the collision one more time. As you can see now, the bouncing is much better. So we are waiting for the y and the x approximation, not only on the x approximation. Let's continue. How about we do the same thing for the second pedal? So all we need to do, just copy all of this and just paste it again, but change pedal 1 with pedal 2. So this will be pedal 2, pedal 2, here here just change every pedal one to pedal two and everything will be the same now let's try this i'm gonna restart the whole thing run it again and let's see the collision with the first pedal with the second pedal now here we go the collision here is not working from this direction it's working only on the back of the second pedal now take a look here if I just hit it like that, and I try to hit it from here, you'll see that it's not working. Well, let us fix this. All right, and the reason for this issue is that here we are changing it in the wrong direction. For pedal 2, we are saying that if collision happens, increase in the direction of the positive axis where we need to increase in the negative axis, right? Because the second player is here and we are pushing this way, right? When you are pushing this way, you are pushing at the negative x. So this will be negative. Now let me close this and rerun it again to see if this will work. Now let's see, this is the first. We hit it. Now let's try the second. And here we go. We are pushing the ball between these two. That's really cool. Okay, now what's left is to create the scoring. Now when the ball just comes and hits the right boundary, I would like to have a score for the opponent and vice versa.